fire season intensifies across the country, the need for support becomes more critical than ever. The Red Cross stands at the forefront of disaster response. The Red Cross needs your help. I'm joined by Executive Director Morgan Schmidt. How does the Red Cross help individuals and families who are displaced by wildfire? Yeah, you know, our heart breaks when that happens. Unfortunately, it has been a really busy fire season for us and has impacted so many communities, especially in central and eastern Oregon. We have great relationships with county emergency managers year-round, and it's their responsibility to call us and say, hey, we've got a fire, we think we've got this many households or individuals in an evacuation zone, we need you to open a shelter. Um, and then they choose from uh, a, you know, a list of places that we've already got agreements with to say, hey, we want to open up in this school or at this church or in this gym somewhere. And so we show up and provide support, shelter, food to anybody that needs it that's been impacted by the disaster. How do volunteers typically support the Red Cross? Yeah, 90, 95% of what we do is all volunteer driven. We rely on incredibly committed volunteers to show up when we need them most. And people can do that anytime by signing up on our website. There's a bit of an application process and then some training to go through. You had a lot of volunteers from all over come yeah. in because the need was so great. Right. We have teams come in from all over the place when our local volunteer capacity can't meet the need. Right. And uh, even had a gentleman, you know, come join us from Puerto Rico who's a Red Cross wow. volunteer and, and was managing a shelter for us out in John Day. So we had some nights where we had three or four shelters open in very different places. And so um, that requires a lot of human power and a lot of generosity from our volunteers. What would you say would be kind of the biggest struggle that the Red Cross faces? Oh gosh, I mean, I think it's that volunteer piece, certainly. A lot of folks don't know that we respond to disasters year-round that don't make the news. You know, yeah. um, we're, we're the, the ones on site at a home fire. Sometimes while the home is still burning, the fire department will call us or the family will call us. We show up with a little bit of assistance and comfort, <laughs> sitting on the curb with somebody on their, on their hardest day. So we're always looking for more folks who are willing to um, give their time to become part of our team and then, and then respond when it matters most. Head over to the Red Cross website to volunteer and make a difference in your community.